good morning today we are going to continue with our course auditing one in this lecture we are going to discuss chapter 3 the oddity the oddity we are meaning we are going to discuss the characteristics of the auditor client okay of the auditing client this chapter is divided into three parts part number one internal control system part number two internal audit and part number three talking about fraud and errors let's start with part number one internal control system what is the meaning of internal control system internal control system is a system consisted of policies and procedures designed to provide management with reasonable assurance that the company achieved its objectives and goals these policies and procedures are often called controls and they make up the entity's internal control collectively they make up the entity internal control so internal control its policies and procedures why the management have to design this system it have to design the system to be sure to give it to provide reasonable assurance that the company achieve its objectives and goals يبقى ال internal control system عندي هي مجموعة من ال policies وال procedures اللي بيعمل designing ال internal control system هي ال management the management is the one is responsible for designing internal control system the one it's it's responsible for policies and procedures okay and why management have to design this system or this system management have to design the system to be sure that the objective and goals of the company have been achieved okay يبقى احنا عندنا ال internal control system هو مجموعة من ال policies وال procedures سياسات و اجراءات بتصممها الشركة او بتصممها الادارة عشان to be sure ان انا ال objective وال activities بتاع ال objectives وال goals بتاعت الشركة انا بوصل لها تمام خلاص وده مجموعة ال procedures وال policies مع بعضها بالاجماع مع بعضها دي اللي بتختك بتكريت او بت بتوصلي لي ال internal control تمام طيب يبقى انا ال management في الاساس بت بت design ال internal control system عشان to object to achieve its management company objectives and goals طيب ايه هي بقى ال ال objectives وال goals الاساسية لل internal control اللي في الاخر بتوصلي ان انا بحقق اهداف الشركة what is the main objective of internal control that is lead us to achieve man on organization objectives and goals ايه هي الاهداف الاساسيه للانترنال كنترول سيستم اللي بتوصل لي في الاخر ان انا اوصل لاهداف الانستيتيوشن او الاورجانيزيشن اللي عامله الانترنال كنترول سيستم انا عندي 3 مين اوبجيكتيفز الاداره بتاخدها في بالها او بتحطها في اعتبارها لما بتيجي تعمل افكتيف كنترول سيستم او افكتيف انترنال كنترول سيستم اول هدف first objective is reliability of financial reporting second objective is efficiency and effectiveness of operations third objective is complaints with laws and regulation okay let's discuss every objective in more details first objective reliability of financial now we have to differentiate between management and also responsibility for internal control لازم نفرق ما بين ايه هي المسؤولية بتاعت الادارة المانجمنت وايه مسؤولية الاوديتور for internal control I said previously ان المانجمنت is the one who is going to design internal control system so management is the one is responsible its responsibility is designing internal control system not the auditor okay so and the management is the one is reasonable for uh, responsible for preparations of financial statements in accordance with GAAP or IFRS okay so auditor responsibility auditor responsibility is to understand the internal control make an assessment for internal control so auditor standards require the auditor to obtain an understanding of internal control relevant to the audit of every on every internal audit engagement auditors are primarily concerned about controls over reliability of financial reporting and controls over classes of transactions so management design internal control auditor understand internal control يبقى اذا الاداره هي اللي بتعمل ديزايننج للانترنال كنترول سيستم will auditors just make an assessment for internal control system only the controls over the financial reporting over the financial uh, 
transactions or what is a transactions okay this is the responsibilities so if once one of, of one of the management one of the clients asking the auditor to design internal control system the auditor said it's not much my responsibility only my responsibility to make an assessment for the internal control system that you designed خلاص يبقى internal control system designing responsibility لل management الاوديتور بيعمل اسسمنت للانترنال كنترول سيستم بس عشان للانترنال كنترولز اللي فوق او اللي على الفاينانشال ريبورتنج والفاينانشال ستيتمنتس خلاص عشان يعرف زي ما قلنا قبل كده از وي سيد بريفيسلي ان هو لما هيعمل انترنال كنترول سيستم او اسسمنت للانترنال كنترول سيستم هيعرف اتس ويك سيستم اور اور سترونج سيستم ويك سيستم مينينج ذات مي بي فاينانشال ستيتمنتس ار نوت فري فروم ماتيريال مس ستيتمنتس لكن سترونج فاينانشال جيف هيم Uh, some assurance that financial statement may be free from material misstatements. خلاص يبقى لو هو بيعمل assessment internal control system ليه بيعمل assessment internal control system لأن دي بتديله uh, hint على إيه وضع ال financial reporting وإيه وضع ال errors وال fraud اللي في ال financial reporting. Because internal control be sure that detect the misstatements the financial statements and correct the misstatements the financial statements. خلاص ده ال task الأساسية بتاعته. طيب ايه بقى ال components of internal control system ايه هي ال components of internal control system انا عندي ال components of internal control system هي ال accepted components هي ال COSO تمام ال COSO اللي هي ال integrated framework, framework دي ال accepted internal control system غالبا في United States واحنا كمان قبلناها في العالم كله يبقى ال COSO components of internal control is accepted framework a widely accepted framework for internal control okay The internal control or cause of components of internal control describes five components of internal control that management designed and implements to provide reasonable assurance that its internal control or its control objectives will be met. Okay. If I isn't and see here, the the components or the cause of components is five components. خلاص ال5 components دول of internal control بتأكد لي ان الادارة او الادارة بتهدف من ال5 components دول ان احنا فعلا بن بنعمل implement implementing او بنعمل assure ان ال ال control objectives احنا وصلنا لها او we met okay يبقى ال cause of 5 components be sure that the objective of control has been met تمام طيب each component Each component contains many controls. كل component من دول divided لـ many controls. We auditors concentrate on those designed to prevent or detect material misstatements, the financial statements. So the auditors' main concern is about the controls that prevent the material misstatements, the financial statements. The auditor, the goal, the essence of it, is that he looks at the controls that are designed to prevent the material misstatements or to prevent the mistakes. في القوائم المالية أو الفاينانشال ستيتمنتس تمام ال COSO internal control system includes the following عندنا 5 components control environment risk assessment control activities information and communication and finally monitoring يبقى ال 5 components control environment this figure okay uh, uh, show the components of internal control or COSO internal control components control environment risk assessment Control activities, information and communication, and monitoring. Let's discuss every component individually. Aga, our first one is in control environment. The control environment عندي consisted of actions, policies, and procedures that reflect the overall attitude of top management, directors, and owners of an entity about internal control and its importance to the entity. To understand and assess the internal con the control environment, auditors should consider the most important control subcomponents. تمام؟ أول حاجة the internal control عندي أو the control أول component من the internal first component of internal control is control environment. The control environment عندي ده the attitude of organization management. The control environment reflect attitude of control management organization management. هو بيعكس سلوك الإدارة خلاص تمام of top management لو الإدارة عندي believes that control it's impo is important لو الإدارة عندي مؤمنة إن فعلا لازم أعمل control أو control مهمة others in the organization will 
sense this commitment and respond by by observing the controls established. يبقى لو الإدارة عندي التوب مانجمنت find out that the أو uh, working as control is important so the middle management will lower management برضو هيفهموا هي هي أدمية الإدارة will be considered the importance of control and we and with act to uh, follow these controls or to achieve the control objective يبقى إذا عندي لو الإدارة العليا أو التوب مانجمنت مهتمة جدا بالكنترول internal control فبالتالي هلاقي عندي إن اللي تحت اللي هو lower management والmiddle management برضو مهتمين وشايفين إنها مهمة جدا ويبدأوا ينفذوها خلاص طيب يبقى معنى ذلك إنها الكنترول environment وهي this is the umbrella هي الأمبريلا بتاعة ال internal control يعني without an effective control environment the other four are unlikely to result in effective control يعني هي ال الأساس لل internal control ال control environment is the base for the four the four components the other four components it's not working effectively then the four other four components is not important يبقى إذا عندي ال control environment دي هي الأساس هي الأمبريلا هي الشمسية بتاعة الأربعة التانيين لو أنا ما نفذتش ال control environment بطريقة سليمة يبقى الأربعة التانيين مالهمش لازمة ليه؟ why in control environment is most important because in control environment is reflect the attitude of management the thinking of management if the man management think and attitude and uh, working as control is important then the other management the other levels of management will follow the top management خلاص so تبقى ال internal control or control environment consists of actions, policies and procedures that reflect the overall attitude of top management, directors and owners of an entity about internal control يبقى هي actions, policies, procedures ال actions وال policies وال procedures دي هي اللي بتوري لي ان فعلا ال top management مهتمية بال control خلاص تمام ال auditor must assess, make an assessment for existing control environment لأن ال control environment لو هو عمل لها assessment واكتشف إن الإدارة if the, the auditor make an assessment for internal control for on control environment and find out that management is accepting and making uh, and thinking that control is very important then he be sure that the other four components or the, the four components are important and are uh, work operating effectively تمام لو الاوديتور عمل اسس من الانترنال كنترول او الكنترول انفايرمنت واكتشف ان الكنترول انفايرمنت لا الاداره فعلا بت بتعمل اتيتيود وبتعمل اكشنز عشان ت وبوليسي عشان تقدر تحقق الكنترول فبالتالي هو هيبقى مطمن ان الكنترول الكنترول انترنال كنترول سيستم سترونج ومطمن كمان ان الاذر فور كومبوننتس بيبدا بيشتغلوا بشكل سليم تمام ذا Second component of cost or component of internal control is risk assessment. Risk assessment for financial reporting is management identification analysis of risks relevant to preparations of fi financial statements is conformity with appropriate accounting standards. Okay? For example, if a company frequently sells products at a price below inventory cost because of rapid technology changes, it's essential for the company to incorporate adapt controls to address the risks of overstating inventory okay similarly meet failure to meet barrier objectives quality of personal uh, geographic dis uh, of company operations significance and complexity of core business procedure processes introduction of a new information technology economic uh, and uh, entrance of new competitors are examples of factors that may lead to increased risk. Once management identifies a risk, it's estimated the significance of that risk, assess the like likelihood of the risk occurring, and develops specific actions that need to be taken to reduce the risks to an acceptable level. This is the definition of risk assessment. So what is risk assessment? Risk assessment إن الإدارة بتقدر تعمل identifications و analysis لل risks المرتبطة بإعداد أو preparations of financial statements based على ال appropriate accounting standards يبقى ال risk assessment هنا is meaning that the audit that the management have to identify and make an analysis of risks related, relative, relevant to preparations of financial statements بتعمل 
assessment بتعمل analysis طب ليه why management have to make identifications and the analysis of risks management have to identify and analysis of risks to making the likelihood of this risks to be happen and try to make some actions and take some actions to uh, reduce this risks to acceptable level يبقى الإدارة هنا عندي بتعمل عملية assessment للرسك المرتبط بال preparing the financial statement بتعمل identification علشان نشوف الرسكس جاية لها منين for example مثلا newcomers new competitors عندي new competitors دخلوا السوق فلما دخلوا السوق ده ممكن يعمل لي reducing للmarket share بتاعتي فلازم الإدارة تبدأ تعمل identification analysis للموضوع ده عشان تقدر إنها تشوف طيب إزاي أنا أقدر لما ال new competitors يدخل السوق عندي إزاي أقدر أنا اقلل الريسك اللي ممكن يحصل من الموضوع ده ايه الاكشنز اللي ممكن اعملها عشان اقلل الريسك يا اما مثلا اعمل نيو اوفرز للكاستمرز بتاعتي او ان انا اعمل اعمل نيو برودكت يقدر يكون جزء موجود في السوق مع البرودكتس القديمه الاولد برودكتس بتاعتي وهكذا عشان اقدر اعمل فيسنج او اقدر اعمل اكشنز تقلل لي الريسك ده على سبيل المثال ودي مشكله حصلت في نوكيا النوكيا خرجت من السوق ليه؟ لأن هم معرفوش يعملوا risk assessment أو risk identifications لما جه new technology للموبايل فونز في السوق فبالتالي نوكيا فضلت على ال old technology بتاعتها ففترة فترة نوكيا كانت أكبر شركات بيع للموبايلات بتاعتها بالتكنولوجي الموجودة لما ظهرت بقى البلاك بيري والسامسونج بدأت تدخل السوق والابل بدأت تدخل السوق بالنيو تكنولوجي المانجمنت او نوكيا مانجمنت ما قدرتش تعمل ايدنتيفيكيشنز او اسسمنت للريسك فبالتالي ما قدرتش تواجه النيو تكنولوجي فحصل ايه ما قدرتش تاخد اكشنز تقلل لها الليفل اوف ريسك لاقل حاجة فخرجت من السوق يبقى المانجمنت هاف تو ميك ريسك اسسمنت هاف تو ميك اناليسز اند ايدنتيفيكيشنز فور اكزامبلز نيو كومبيتيتورز كام تو ماركت ذس مينينج فور ماي ماركت شير از جوينج تو ريديوس اي هاف تو تيك از ان اكشن سم از ان مانجمنت سم اكشنز تو ريديوس ذا ليفل اوف ذس ريسك اوف ذا نيو كومبيتيتورز ريسك اوكي تو ذا اكسبتبل ليفل فور اكزامبل نايت نوكيا نوكيا واز ذا وان اوف ذا اوف وان اوف ذا بيجست اوبريتنج وان اوف ذا بيجست تكنولوجي فور ان ذا باست ايرا ان موبايل فون Okay, Nokia still have the same technology even with a new technologies coming the market of mobile phones. So this is one of the reasons why Nokia out of market because they didn't make and ma the management didn't make a risk assessment for the new technology. Then the management didn't take the didn't uh, perform the actions that they need to take. They need to take. They need to take to take to uh, uh, making. Uh, Uh, reducing to the level to the lowest uh, to reducing the risk to the lowest level or the acceptable level so this is a, the result of why Nokia didn't follow the new technology not make risk assessment out of market okay this is the meaning of the second component of COSU components of internal control risk assessment the third one is control activities what is the meaning of control activities Control activities are the policies and procedures in addition to those included in other four control components that help ensure that necessary actions are taken to address risks to the achievement of the entity objectives. These are potentially many such as control activities in any entity including both manual and automated controls. Okay, يبقى ال control activities هي policies و procedures جديدة احنا بنعملها بضاء بالإضافة للي موجودين في ال الأربعة الأربعة التانيين ال components four other components دي عشان تساعد إن إحنا فعلاً ال ال actions اللي فضنا خد عشان نعمل addresses و assessment لل risks واتعملت عشان أقدر أوصل لل objectives أو ال entity objectives so internal control activities is other policies and procedures other than the four policies and procedures in the four components Okay, these acti activities or these control activities or these policies and procedures make sure that the management making or the actions of the addresses risk has been taken and this is help us to achieve as an entity our goals. خلاص? Okay, يبقى ده third component of internal control. The fourth component of causal components of internal control is information and communication. The purpose of an entity accounting information and communication system is to record, process, and report the entity transactions to and, and to maintain accountability for the related assets. 
بنقول an account information and communication system has several subcomponents typically made up of class of transactions such as sales, sales returns, cash receipts, acquisitions and so on. To understand the design of the accounting information system, the author determines the major class of transactions of the entity, how those transactions are intended and recorded, what accounting records exist and their nature, how the system captures other events that are significant to the financial statements such as declines in asset values and the nature and details of the financial reporting process followed including, including procedures to, in, to enter transactions and adjustment in the general ledger. يبقى عندي هدف ال accounting information and communication system ان انا اعمل recording process reported عن ال transactions لل ال transactions عشان يبقى في accountability accountability for related assets خلاص طيب يبقى اذا عندي هدف ايه في ال في ال transactions دي او ال information communication هدفها ايه ان انا اعمل recording process reported يعني ان انا اخد ال transaction اللي حصلت وابدأ بقى ابدا احللها جورنال الاول اعمل مثلا على سبيل المثال احدد مين الديبت والكريدت اعمل الجورنال واعمل الليدجر واعمل اكونت واعمل ترايل بالانس واعمل فاينانشال ستيتمنت كل دي حاجات ده خاص بالانفورميشن والكوميونيكيشن خلاص يبقى اذا عندي اكونت انفورميشن سيستم عنده سيفرال سب كومبوننتس والسب كومبوننتس دي عندي بتبقى ميد اب of class of transactions زي sales, sales returns, cash receipts, acquisition الاوديتور مفروض ان هو يعمل يبص على ال designing لل internal لل information and لل information and communication ليه؟ عشان يشوف ال major class of transactions لكل منشأة وعشان يشوف ال 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 transactions دي تعمل لها analysis ازاي وتسجلت ازاي بعد كده عندي عشان يشوف ال الكل اكاونت ريكورز ايه هي الموجود منها وطبيعتها ايه كمان عشان يشوف السيستم لو السيستم عندي فعلا بيقدر يسجل كل الاحداث المرتبطه بالاكشنز او ترانزاكشنز اللي حصلت كمان عندي عشان يشوف الفاينانشال ريبورتنج بتتعمل ازاي ايه هي البروسيجرز اللي الشركه بتاخدها عشان تسجل افري فاينانشال ريبورتنج يبقى الانفورميشن كوميونيكيشن ار فيري امبورتنت تو ذا اوديتور بيكوز اتس اوفر ذا فاينانشال ريبورتنج اتس اوفر ذا فاينانشال ريبورتنج خلاص تمام ده الثيرد الفورث كومبوننتس اوف كورس كومبوننتس تنال كنترول انفورميشن اند كوميونيكيشن سو انفورميشن كوميونيكيشن اتس اوبفيسلي ريليتد تو فاينانشال ريبورتنج ريليتد تو ترانزاكشنز هاو وي ريكورد ذيس ترانزاكشنز هاو ميكن ادجستمنت تو ذيس ترانزاكشنز اند سو اون اوكي كومبوننتس اوف كورس كومبوننتس اوف تنال كنترول اتس مونيترينج مونيترينج اكتيفيتيز as from the name meaning that I'm making sure or making an assessment of internal control procedures okay so I'm making an assessment for the quality of internal control by management to determine that controls are operating as intended as they are modified as appropriate for changes on conditions meaning that I need to make an assessment for my internal control system is the systems is the procedures and policies that I'm asking for or I I I use in my internal control are operating effectively okay what is the changes I have to do what is the I detect some uh, problems in my uh, in my problems in my internal control system so I have to modif ma make modifications for these uh, errors for these uh, uh, things that I, I find out they are not correct or need to be modified يبقى اذا عندي المونيترنج هنا الهدف منه الاساسي ان انا اعمل اسسمنت وتقييم للكنترول سيستم كله عندي وابدا اشوف ايه الحاجات اللي محتاج اعمل لها موديفاين او تعديل خلاص وابدا اعمل لها الموديفيكيشنز دي خلاص طيب الانفورميشن بينج اسيست كمز فروم ا فارييتي اوف سورسز طب انا عايز اعمل المونيترنج اكتيفيتيز اجيب الانفورس هو هاو اي كان جيت ذا انفورميشن تو ميك ذيس مونيترنج اكتيفيتيز اوكي اتس كام فروم سو ماني سورسز Okay, for example, studies of existing internal controls. دراسات أنا بعملها عن internal control الحقيقي الموجود حاليا. Okay, من the internal auditor reports, the internal auditor. وده اللي هن we are going to see the next part of this lecture. Internal control reports. 
make an assessment for internal con internal auditor reports make an assessment for internal control so it show me what parts of internal control system need, need to be modified or corrected okay exception reporting on int control activities on control activities reports by regularity such as bank regularity agencies feedback from operating personnel and complaints from customers about billing charges okay يبقى اذا الانترنال كنترول بتظهر الانفورميشن بتاعتها بناخد الانفور او المونيتورنج اكتيفيتيز بجيب الانفورميشن بتاعتها من ميني ريسورسز اهمها بيبقى الانترنال اوديتور يبقى الافكتيف to be effective the internal audit function must be performed by staff independent of both the operating and accounting departments and report direct to a high level of authority with the organizations either top management or the audit committee of the or the board of directors يبقى اذا عندي هنا the most important resource of information coming from internal auditor to be effective internal auditor must be joined by uh, staff independent okay and also have directed reported directly to top management of top level of authority in the organizations and with this part this lead us to the next part of the uh, lecture talking about internal audits يبقى عشان اقدر اجمع معلومات للمونيتورنج اكتيفيتيز او لانظمه التقييم انا عندي كذا مصدر عندي الاضاءه اللي عندي مثلا على سبيل المثال تقارير رقاء المراجعه الداخليه عندي تقارير عن نظام الرقابه الداخليه عندي بعض الكومبلينتس من العملاء فبالتالي عندي دي ريسورسز عشان اجمع انفورميشن طيب الاهم حاجه هتكون الانترنال اوديت ريبورتس التقارير اللي جايه من الانترنال اوديت طب الانترنال اوديت عايز يدي تقارير سليمه فلازم يكون اندبندنت ولازم يكون وسيله ان هو يريبورت تكون للتوب ليفل اوثورتي للاداره الاعلى في الانستيتيوشن عندي اوكي تمام ده اذا عندي هنا ده الجزء الخاص بالانترنال اوديتور سوري الانترنال كنترول سيستم ومع وصلنا ان الاهم ريبورت او اهم ريسورس للمونيتورنج اكتيفيتي في الانترنال كنترول هو الاوديتور الانترنال اوديتور ريبورتس فده هندخل بيه على بارت 2 من الليكتشر اللي هي الانترنال اوديتور وازاي اقدر اعمل انترنال اوديتنج افكتيف انترنال اوديتنج في الانستيتيوشن اللي انا براجعها او الانستيتيوشن اللي احنا بنبص عليها اللي هي في الكلاينت انستيتيوشن اوكي Let's move to the second part of our lecture, internal audit. Now let's start our second part of our lecture, internal audit. Okay, we will in the companies employ their own internal auditors to do both financial and operational auditing. Now, when we think, as we remembered, we discuss the difference between financial and operation auditing. So, and we said before that. The one who is doing financial auditing must maybe internal auditor or external auditor. But the one who is doing operational auditor basically is going to be internal auditor. Okay? احنا اتكلمنا قبل كده على financial auditing وال operational auditing وان financial auditing بيعملها internal and external auditor. لكن ال operational auditing basically بيعملها internal auditing. Okay? بنقول كمان during the past two decades the role of internal auditors has expanded dramatically primarily because of the increased size and the complexity of many corporations تمام because internal auditors spend all of their time within one company they have much greater knowledge about the company's operations and internal controls than external auditors that kind of knowledge can be critical to be effective corporate governance احنا بنقول ان خلال السنتين او خلال العقدين اللي فاتوا دور الانترنال اوديت توسع جدا فبدات لانها قاعده طول الوقت جوه الشركه فبالتالي وجودها وجود الانترنال اوديتور جوه الشركه طول الوقت بيخليه عنده نوليدج كتيره جدا عن الانفلومي عن الفاينانشال انفورميشنز وعن الانترنال كنترول سيستم اكتر من الاكسترنال اوديتورز وده بي اول حاجه بيفعل حاجه اسمها الكروبريت جوفرننس او بيقوي حاجه اسمها الكروبريت جوفرننس تاني حاجه الاكسترنال اوتر ممكن ريلاي على او يعتمد على الريبورتس اللي طالعه من الانترنال اوتر باعتبار ان هو جوه الانستيتيوشن سو از ان ذا اوديت اكسترنال اوتر ووكينج انسايد ذا انستيتيوشن انسايد ذا كوربريشنز سبيندينج اول هيز تايم انسايد ذا كوربريشنز ذا اوديت اكسترنال اوتر مي ريلاي ان هيز ريبورتس اف هي فايند اوت ذات ذا انترنال اوتر از ديبندنت انف اوكي سو ليتس دي ليتس فايند ذا ديفينيشنز اوف انترنال اوديتور اور انترنال اوديت ذس ديفينيشن از فروم ذس Institute of Internal Auditors. Okay, the definition is 
Internal auditing is an independent objective assurance and consulting activity designed to add value and improve an organization operations. It helps an organization accomplish its objectives by bringing a systematic disciplined approach to evaluate and improve the effectiveness of risk as management, control, and governance process. So, internal auditor. This definition reflects the changes rule of internal auditors. التعريف ده بيوضح لي ال ال الاختلاف اللي حصل في تعريف ال internal auditing أو ال internal auditors. They are expected to provide value to the organization through improved operations effectiveness while also performing traditional responsibilities. Responsibilities. يبقى احنا عندنا هنا ال internal auditor مفروض ان هو as expected as from the definitions they have to add value and improve the operations of organization. This is one of the more important responsibilities plus the traditional responsibilities. يبقى هو ده ال responsibility الجديدة بالإضافة لـ responsibility القديمة اللي كان بيعملها such as reviewing the reliability and the integrity of information ensuring complaints with policies and regulations safeguarding assets يبقى الـ traditional responsibilities كانت تلاتة إن هو يتأكد من مصداقية الـ reliability هي بيشور الـ reliability of information to, be, to guard the assets يحمي الأصول و ensuring إن إحنا بنعمل إن الشركة complaints with regulations and laws تمام؟ دي الـ internal audit definition so internal audit definition must be independent objective assurance and consulting activity okay why you have to design internal auditing to add value and improve an organization's operations okay so it help organization to accomplish its objective okay this is definitions so what is the objectives of internal auditors the object of internal auditor are consider border than objective of external auditor الأهداف بتاعة ال internal auditor أوسع بكتير من ال external auditor لأنها providing flexibility for internal auditors to meet their company's needs they focus on documenting and testing control they serve primarily as consultants focusing on recommendations that improve organizational performance يبقى هم عندهم أو ال internal auditor عندي بيهتم بشكل أساسي إن هو يعمل documenting و testing للcontrols أوكي يبقى هو related للinternal control system و بيكون ك consulting consulted يعني بيعمل consulting للشركة و بيفوكس إن هو how to improve and focusing how to improve organizational performance أوكي So, based on this, what is the relationship between, or what is the difference between internal and external auditor? The difference between the internal and external auditor. First difference, our primary difference is whom each party is responsible to. كل واحد مسؤول لي. Okay, let's discuss it. Or let's see how we can find out each party is responsible to, which each party is responsible to. First of all, internal auditors are. Employer is an is an employer inside the company, so I think it's employer. Okay, so he is responsible for the management and the focus. But external auditor is the one who is come to find is the one who is come from outside to be sure that financial statements are free from material misstatement. So he is responsible for financial statements users, whoever this user internal or external. Okay, يبا إذا عندي هنا. ال internal auditor مسؤول هو موظف جوا الشركة فمسؤول تجاه الإدارة وال board of directors أوكي لكن ال external auditor ده واحد جاي من برا الشخص ده مفروض إن هو مسؤول عن إن هو ي find out the financial statements fairness أو إن هو يشوف ال financial statements are free or not from the financial statements يبقى هو إذا عندي مسؤول قدام ال financial use financial statement users whether إن هما internal or external تمام طيب this is the first difference لكن ال internal auditor and external auditor share many similarities عندهم تشابهات كتير both must be competent as auditors and remain objective in performing their work and reporting their results 
فأول حاجة لازم يكونوا عندهم knowledge have knowledge and experience they should have knowledge and experience they must be objective when they performing their work يبقى لازم يكونوا عندهم معرفة وخبرة ولازم يكونوا حيادين وما بيشتغلوا شغلهم وبيوصلوا رسائل بتاعتهم تاني حاجة both follow a similar methodology in performing their audits including planning and performing tests of controls and substantive tests والاثنين بيتبعوا نفس منهجية أو نفس methodology they have methodology when they performing their tasks they have methodology in performing their audits they have, they have to plan the audits they have to uh, perform tests of controls and substantive tests وهناخد ايه هي التست of controls ايه substantive tests next uh, uh, lecture they have both consider they must they have both consider risk and materiality in, this, in deciding the extent of their tests and evaluating results however their decisions about materiality and risks may differ because external use may have different needs than management or both يبقى they have they, they evaluate or make an assessment for risks and materiality okay but how they design uh, or how this how their decisions about materiality and risks may be different because auditors internal auditors report for uh, different parties than external auditors تمام ده relation and what is the difference and similarities between internal auditor and external auditor with this point we are going to move to our third part of this lecture this third part is dis discussing error and fraud okay here auditing standards distinguish between two types of misstatements errors and the fraud. Either type of misstatements can be material or immaterial. So standards say I have two types of mistake, error and fraud. Each error or fraud, both of them can be material misstatements or immaterial misstatements. المعايير بتفرق ما بين نوعين من الأخطاء من المسستatements. يا إما error يا إما fraud. The difference between error and fraud الاثنين ممكن يبقى بينتج عنهم are results of material misstatements or error material misstatements ممكن ينتج عنها أخطاء جوهرية أو غير جوهرية So what is the difference between error and fraud? Be sure, keep in your mind that errors, error is unintentional misstatements Error is unintentional misstatements while fraud is intentional misstatements يبقى So error, unintentional acts but fraud are intentional acts Fraud or error can results as a result of fraud or error can be material misstatements or misstatements of financial statements. Okay, and some of them, both of them, come from uh, overestimations, mistakes in the application of applicable account principles, uh, mistakes in gathering processing data. Okay, these all are can be fraud or can be error. So or based on what are you mean are you mean meant to do these misstatements or these mistakes or not if you have willing to do this mistake so you, it's fraud if you are not willing to do this mistake it's by mistake by unintentional uh, misstatement so it's error okay this is the difference between error or fraud let's focus on fraud fraud can be divided into two two ways fraudulent financial reporting or misappropriations of assets تمام يبقى عايز انا عندي هنا الفرق ما بين الفرود والايرور هي النيه هل انت قاصد انك تعمل الاخطاء دي ولا لا لو مش قاصد تبقى ايرور لو قاصد تبقى فرود فرود عندي هنركز عليه اكتر وده مقسوم لتو تايبس فاينانشال فرودلند فاينانشال ريبورتنج ومسابريشنز اوف اسيتس اوكي سو the difference between an error and fraud is the existence or, ab or absence of intent. All organizations and all accounting systems are subject to mistakes. But what's the intent? Are you intentionally make these mistakes or unintentionally make these mistakes? Let's discuss the types of fraud. Fraudland financial reporting. Fraudulent financial reporting is unintentional misstatement or omission of amounts or disclosure with the intent to deceive users. So you are making fraudulent financial reporting to deceive the users of financial statements. Most cases involve them intentional misstatements of amounts rather than disclosure. يبقى كل الأخطاء بتكون في الكميات وليس في الإفصاح. Companies may also intentionally understate income when earnings are high to create a reserve or earnings or cookie jar reserves this may be used to increase earning in future periods so 
can you intentionally understate income or overstate income you understate income so in this period so you can uh, report increasing in uh, earnings in the future period such practices are called income smoothing or earnings management earnings management involves deliberate actions taken by management to meet earnings objectives income smoothing is a form of earnings management in which earning, uh, revenues and expenses are shifted between periods to reduce uh, fluctuations in earnings اوكي يبقى احنا عندنا هنا الفرود اند فاينانشال ريبورتنج ان انا انتنشلي بلعب في الارقام او في الديسكلوجر غالبا بيكون الغرض من ان انا العب في الارقام المحاسبيه الفاينانشال اتس جيم الفاينانشال نمبرز عشان ابلغ تو ريبورت سم انفورميشن اي نيد تو ديسكلوز تو ذا يوزرز سم كومبانيز اوفر ستيت ذا بعض الشركات اوفر ستيت ذا ايرنينجز اور اندر ستيت ذا ايرنينجز overstate the earnings meaning they have to uh, reduce the earnings in the current period for the reporting increasing in earnings for the uh, next period okay we have this uh, practice to increase to or decrease or estimate or overestimate the earnings in the period we have two definitions earnings management or income smoothing خلاص يبقى احنا عندنا هنا هم بيعملوا بيلعبوا في الارقام المحاسبيه عن طريق نقل الارباح من فتره لفتره دي اسمها انكم سموزنج او ان احنا بنلعب في الارقام عشان نعمل ديسيف نخدع اليوزرز تو ديسيف يوزرز دي بتبقى ايرنينجز مانجمنت انكم انكم سموزنج كوكي جا ريزيرفز كل الخطوات دي كل التكنيكس اول ذيس تكنيكس ار ريليتد تو فرودلنت فاينانشال ريبورتنج تو 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 ديسيف يوزرز اوكي ذا اذر تايب اوف فرود از ميس ابريشيشنز اوف اسيتس ذيس مينينج انفولف سيفت اوف ان انتيتي اسيتس بتسرق الاسس بتاعت الشركه in many cases but not all the amounts involved are not material to the financial statement المرحله دي بقى الاماونت مش مش مهمه however the theft of company assets often a management concern regardless of materiality of amounts involved because small small thefts can easily increase in size over time لكن معنى كده ان الثيفت دي او ان احنا بنسرق او الثيفت اوف كومباني اسيتس لازم تكون تحت عين الاداره لان ماست بي ا كونسيرن فور ذا مانجمنت بيكوز ذا وان هو از جوينج تو ثيفت سمول اماونتس مي بي انكريز ذيس اماونتس ان ذا فيوتشر ذا تيرم اور ميس ابريشيشنز اوف اسيتس از نورمالي يوزد تو ريفير ذا ثيفت انفولفينج امبلويز اند اذر انترنال تو اورجانيزيشن اوكي ليتس سي ذات ذا فيرست تايب اوف فرود اللي هو فرود اند فاينانشال ريبورتنج may be related to the top management but means appreciations of assets may be related to employers and internal to organization miss appreciations of assets is normally pretended at lower levels of organizations recurry in some notable cases however top management is involved in the theft of company assets because of management greater authority and control over organization assets okay برضه بنقول ان الاداره ليها علاقه ب also management related even it's uh, the misappreciations of asset related to lower uh, level of management higher level of management and so our top management is really is concerned or related to misappreciation of assets because misappreciation of assets meaning you have weak internal control system the one who is designing internal control system is top management so if the internal control system is weak that gives that chance to employers to theft the assets this meaning related to top management رغم ان احنا بنقول ان الفرق سرقه ان الفرودلند فاينانشال ريبورتنج ريليتد للتوب مانجمنت او بيقدر يعملها التوب مانجمنت وايل ميس ابريشيشنز اوف اسيتس او اختلاس الاصول مرتبط اكتر باللور مانجمنت او اللور ليفل اوف مانجمنت لكن في الاول وفي الاخر هو مرتبط بالانترنال كنترول سيستم اللي بيعمل لها ديزايننج التوب مانجمنت يبقى اذا عندي ريليتد في الاخر بالتوب مانجمنت لان معنى ذلك ان التوب مانجمنت عامله ويك انترنال كنترول سيستم اوكي Now we reach it our end uh, of the our lecture. Uh, this is your assignment. I hope you can uh, find this lecture useful for you. Next lecture we are going to discuss the end results of our audit process. It's about audit report. Thank you.